If you had invested a hundred rupees in TVS Motors 15 years ago, that would be worth 10,000 rupees today. And the Q1 results were outstanding. And the TVS Motors stock is up more than 5% after they released their results. So let's understand what makes TVS Motors such a special company so you can decide whether or not to invest and become a smarter investor. TVS Motors was founded in 1911 by Mr. T.V. Sundaram Iyengar and they only started making motorcycles in 1989. Since then, they have grown rapidly across all segments from two-wheelers, three-wheelers, scooters and e-bikes. Thanks to the TVS Group, I think this is a very interesting company. And why I say interesting is because this is one company which is so diversified across all the segments in the two-wheeler space. Mm -hmm. They manufacture mopeds, they'll do scooters, they'll do motorcycles, and motorcycles they will have high-end, low-end. So their uh, mantra has been to be present in all the segments of the two-wheeler mm -hmm. market. They've done, their models have been very well received as far as the motorcycles are concerned. And of course, mopeds and three-wheelers have been having a small contribution as well. But very aggressive management, they protect their turf in southern India really well. Mm -hmm. And I would say that uh, I would hand it out to the quality of the management to have, you know, made this kind of uh, a position from the, for themselves in such a competitive industry. Because, you know, I think there's a recurring theme on our podcast where quality management translates into quality stocks. So can we, I mean, what makes the TVS Group so good? Why are they doing so well? So I think TVS Group started as a distributor of automobile products and they have a very large uh, presence in auto components as well. And it's a, it's a very focused uh, group uh, with high integrity levels, good focus on, I would say, technology as well mm -hmm. and uh, very customer-oriented uh, business uh, group, I would say. And I think for TVS Motors, they thought that they had a superb opportunity on their hands. Uh, to move up the value chain, move away from auto components and other smaller engineering products into a consumer business like mm -hmm. uh, motorcycles. And somehow I think they got very good leadership also within the company, uh, which drove their sales very well. And I think if you ask that one particular question about TVS Motors is the product. The models were like really, I would say they captured the consumer's imagination. If any other company after Aisha Motors, which has really, you know, got that product connect mm -hmm. with the consumer, I would say it is uh, TVS Motors. And they benefited a lot from uh, the scooter sales last four or five years, mm -hmm. doing very well. So TVS Motors has a capacity of almost 4 million units a year, and they sell nearly 3 million units a year. Some of that is domestic, but they also export to over 60 countries. Their overall unit sales are, I think, 3.6 million in FY23. Mm -hmm. And again, very interestingly, in comparison to Bajaj or in comparison to Hero, over the last five years, their revenues have gone up by 13% compounded, 12.29% compounded. And their PAT has also gone up by about 14% compounded. So, you know, as opposed to the Hero or Bajaj, Bajaj. where revenues are staying flat. Or even Aisha for that. Or even month. Aisha, yeah. Where revenues are flat, sales are flat, profit is flat. These guys are growing at a, a a good clip. So we know TVS Motors is a great company, but what makes them so special? Their stock is up more than 30% over the last six months. So let's analyze their recent performance by looking at the Q1 results. Total sales are up nearly 5% to nearly 9.5 lakh units, and revenue is up more than 20%. But here's the real showstopper. Their net profit is up 46% versus the same quarter last year. This is their highest ever EBITDA of 493 crores. But before we tell you about the main reason for their outperformance, their EV segment, don't forget to share this with your friends that haven't invested in TVS. Now, for the most electrifying news, their e-scooter sales have skyrocketed to 39,000 units. That's an increase of over four times versus the same quarter last year. All the existing players, maybe they have the best uh, EV strategy as yeah. well. So uh, let's talk about the EV strategy just to give some more context. So their platform is called iCube and it's a partnership with BMW. So their current overall capacity is 600,000 units and they have 11% market share in FY23. So again, strong EV strategy that protects them from disruption. If you want to know more about investing and become a smarter investor, 
Check out the description below and don't forget to subscribe to the Pesa Smart YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. This podcast is produced by Elixir Equities Private Limited, a study registered research analyst. Registration number INA 00004787. The information provided in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. We strongly advise all investors to read all related documents carefully before investing.